Hey, I'm Mike with Georgia Crickets, and I'm here today to show you our new winter packing. In the winter time, crickets can get a lot of stress. It gets very cold, and it can take a lot of toll on the health of the crickets. So for a long time, we've been trying to figure out new ways to, to ship these live and safely to you. Originally, we used to just do the heat packs, but now we've came quite forward with our friends at Reptiles Express, with the help of them shipping their reptiles all over the nation. So what we first started doing was, we did a test package once, and we started using insulated foam. The insulated foam is what Reptiles Express uses to ship reptiles all over the country. And we thought this would be great to have a temperature controlled climate for the insects when they're being shipped to your door. And so we did an experiment and we put a thousand large crickets in the box with the insulated foam and a heat pack. We put this in the refrigerator for four days and not one of the crickets was damaged. Now this is gonna be typically around a 32 degree mark which is very, which is cold, um, and they all survived great. So what we wanted to show you now is this new thing we've rolled out, that the crickets, what we do is we'll put your crickets in a bag first, which is an all natural cotton bag, which allows them, the insects to breathe, and it has no issues with that, with respiratory. And then once we've it filled the bag with the crickets, we'll place them inside the box. This box size here, typically we're gonna put about 500 crickets in. Um, and under. What we'll do is we will seal it, depending on the temperatures, because we will check each and every one of your destination temperatures before we ship it out. They'll get a heat pack, or they won't get a heat pack to keep the insulation in. So let's just say we're going to, um, we'll go to Michigan right now, which is very cold. Um, we would put in the heat pack with the bag and the crickets and the foam seal. Um, to add, add additional ventilation, if it is it is still cold, but not that cold. We'll, we will puncture a hole in the box, much like you do with the reptile shipping, and that will let fresh air circulate that air inside. Um, we do it, and we have, a, we have an array of boxes we use, and the two main common ones we use are these two. You will receive your 1,000 count crickets in these boxes, and you'll receive your 500 under in these boxes, unless you get the small crickets. Now, we also use larger boxes too for the shipping once you do the bulk orders. Um, and then we will also we'll tailor each winter packing to you, whether it needs just a heat pack, the foam insulation, the bags. Um, we do use the bags for the foam. The foam is a natural material, but we wanted to make sure they're safe of the animal for your what you're feeding as well as the health of our crickets, that we keep them in the bag so they don't chew through the foam, so there's no ingestion there. Um, so yeah, so anyway, the boxes are great for these packing, and I'm going to have my wonderful film recorder show you the insides of these boxes. So the foam we use is three quarter inch thick. This is one of the highest qualities you can use because it's such great insulation. Um, they have enough space in here for 500 crickets which will fit in here, which fits obviously with the crickets inside, fits right there and the heat pack will go underneath and it will be taped to the bottom. Um, and then obviously with the bigger one too, it's the same build. What this also does too is it also it also structurally makes the box stronger. So you haven't got to worry about as many crushed packages from FedEx. Um, and then please feel free to give us some feedback on these boxes and see what you think. Um, we're very excited about this. This is the first year we are doing it officially. And we are very, very excited for you to receive your good, healthy insects from us at www.georgiacrickets.com. Thank you so much.